Hey, Herc, how you doing? Are you gonna be compete? It would be great to face you. Yeah, too bad you're not in this tournament, big boy. We got another two tournaments till we can take you on. But hey, everybody, it's Bubba Peas, and welcome back to some more Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. You know the rules, right? Uh, sure. Kill all enemies. Bada boom, bada bang. Not that hard. But yeah, last time we sealed the Traverse Town keyhole, and now. Side quests. Oh, uh, that's right. That's not Blizzard anymore. Um. So yeah, we just got Arrow as a spell, which increases our defense, which is entirely unnecessary right now, especially because it uses two MP and we've only got three, or at least I do. You might have more if you chose the staff or something earlier on in the game, or you didn't give it up. But uh, oops. All right, take these guys out first. You know the drill. There we go. Because they will heal everyone and be so obnoxious while doing it. Now, here's the thing about uh, the, the cups. At first, they shouldn't be too difficult for you. It's only nine rounds because there's 10 seeds, but you're one of them. So there's only nine fights. The challenge comes in when you try to do the different modes. There's a time attack mode, there's a Sora only mode. That's when things get a little more tedious because there's no one else to be targeted. So there are times when the Heartless might be targeting Donald or Goofy or Donald might heal you or something once in a blue moon. So fighting is just sore could be a little challenging the, the hardest part for me is time attack no doubt <laughs> and goofy with the l dance <laughs> i hold this l for you ah, i wish i had blizzard automatically equipped that would make this so much faster well i guess i do need some magic i'm going to die Like, these guys are just so, like, you need to use magic to get these guys out of the way. Like, I'm gonna have to switch Arrow back to Blizzard just for a match like this, because for time attack, this will be a big deal. Big deal. Come here. There you go. Oh, and then Donald heals himself. Good job, dude. Why don't you heal me? You're gonna get half your health back when you respawn in the next round anyway. What are you doing? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try to take care of this guy as fast as possible. Come on, come on. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, and I did get uh, the tech bonus. All right, so it actually does double right now. I thought we were getting so little uh, experience that it didn't even really matter. Then again, I was getting quite a bit against reverse armor, so maybe I'm just tripping. Ouch. Oh, Donald, why would you do that? Stop it. Stop actually doing things. Fine, go, go at him. Y'all take care of him. And Donald, if you heal yourself again instead of me, when I'm just over here dying, I'm going to kill you. That's the power of the keyblade. I'm about to die. <laughs> I am about to die, and I don't want to waste a potion. Come on, give me enough magic. Well, nope. D Thank you, Donald. Finally, you tried healing me. Like I, I heard that you were just failing at doing so. Oh, wow, I'm locked onto the shadow that's underground. And I did a full combo on everything but the shadow. Also, you may have noticed that we're fi fighting a lot of the parts of the guard armor. I'm gonna cut back to that part. Actually, before I do anything, let me change up Goofy's abilities and then customize me, go back to Blizzard because I do not need Arrow right now. And I don't necessarily need Fire. I think Thunder might do a little more good for me right now. Let's try with this. All right. Yeah, not wasting my magic for Arrow definitely helped me get back here. 
And then focusing these guys with aerial attacks up front helped a lot. Now the gauntlets didn't even last long at all, and they're the ones that killed me. Well, that was much easier. Oh boy. I forgot about this round. <laughs> uh, just hurry up and kill these guys. That's all you really gotta worry about. The large bodies are harmless, more or less. All right, now you guys attack him from the back while I attack this guy. Or y'all just suck. Oh, there you go, Goofy, my boy. Nothing to it. <laughs> just look at Goofy in the back. <laughs> like, whoa, yeah, yo. All right, so second seed, we got the gauntlets and the feet and the power wilds. In my opinion, this is the most annoying match. Like, I don't even think the first one's as annoying as this. Because the last one really... It's just a big game of deplete the health. It's not... I hate those gauntlets. All right, let's try this one more again. First off... Get those out of the way. There we go. Now it should be fine. Come on. If I can get aerial attacks, there we go. Also, uh, you may not have noticed, but this was very obvious in the first uh, tournament that we did, even though it was just a preliminary. The enemies do not drop health, bar uh, health bars, <laughs> health orbs, so... Even though you can level grind here and gain experience, you will not be getting HP back from these enemies. So that's what makes it at least somewhat challenging. Oh, geez. Okay, okay. And see what I mean? 40 experience and then, like, look how easy that was. Even though I'm pretty sure he used to give 80. Was he nerfed? Do they give him... Do you get less experience from him now? I could have sworn you got four, uh, I'm sorry, 80 before. That's weird. All right, but for winning the cup. We're the champs. Attain the power of the stars. We get gravity. I can't believe I just skipped right over that. I never thought you'd do it, not bad. Phil, you're just as stubborn as ever. Don't pretend you're not happy for them. <clears throat> now, kid, you still got a long way to go. The next round starting soon. Next time will be the real thing. Oh, the real thing. Okay. But, um, while getting back up there, I got combo plus, which allows me to attack four times on the ground now. And just so you know, this is what gravity does. Let's see how that works on the large bodies. As a matter of fact, let's see. Let's try this. Nah, wait. I'm more comfortable with that being blizzard. And this can be gravity. So, next up is Enter Alone, Just Sora. And yes, I'm just going to go ahead and cover all the modes in this one episode. That's typically how these episodes are going to go. Alright, let's see here. Alright, so those guys die in one hit. Oh, wow. I'm surprised that did as much damage as it did. I thought it was going to be a two-hit KO, but on the first one, it just one shot. Nothing to it. Oh, by the way, the seeds uh, do not reset. You're still considered top seed, which is kind of weird, but that's eh, whatever. So like, these guys aren't as hard to deal with when you're alone because they're not bouncing around also targeting Donald and Goofy. So they're always going to be up in your face. You'll be able to attack them with ease. But then all the power wild attacking you once, that could be an issue. 
Before I even worry about the power wilds, I'm going for this thing. I don't need to be attacked by feet. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. All right. All right, so far so good. So far so good. Nope. Ah, I was trying to parry that. Oh, oh. Wow, okay. These guys weren't as bad this time. This should help. Nothing to it. At least I'm getting my time to heal in between. So I guess that was just a preliminary thing? I'm not sure. Let's get through these guys a little. Auto lock, Sora. You just wasted magic. I just got done saying a few episodes ago how I actually like magic in this game. I used to not care so much for it. I used to only use uh, Arrow and Cure, and that's basically it, but... I've discovered a newfound love for uh, spells in the most recent playthroughs. Oops. I was trying to lock on a large body. No, no, no. Actually, I don't want to attack the large body anymore. There we go. Hold up. Oh, that counterattack is awesome. And, oh, I hit the large body while trying to go for him. Ugh. These guys are so annoying. All right, so let's try gravity on the big boy. So that's how much it does. And it'll actually do more as it gets stronger because we haven't even upgraded any of our spells yet. Just wait till our spells start getting upgraded. Grab is gonna do large damage to large bodies. Let me tell you. There we go. Needed that to start. Needed that to start. If these guys were targeting me while I'm trying to take care of the small fry, as Leon would like to say, that wouldn't have ended nicely. Indomitable. Forgot that's what the name of this thing was. At least these guys are quick to kill and get decent experience. I mean, four? Compared to these guys, as much as you have to do to kill them, they only give seven? Definitely worth fighting those uh, green nocturnes or whatever they're called. Think they're green nocturnes? I mean, it says it right at the beginning. I just wasn't really paying attention. And bada boom, bada bing. Nothing to it. Will I actually get through this my first time playing just Sora? I'm liking my odds. All right, take care of the arms. Take care of the arms. If I hit the legs by accident, there we go. Oops. There we go. And my max HP increase. Perfect. And this is why we do the Coliseum. This is why we level grind. It's going to make other parts of the game a little easier on proud mode. So we don't die in two hits. I mean, we really shouldn't anymore now that we've got arrow, but the, I also need some MP increases. Like, that's needed. All right. So yeah, like I said, it's weird that the seeds do start over when you play as just sort of like Sora should start from the from the ground up, but no, he's the reigning champion. It's like nah, he don't need a team. Oh shoot, that was not supposed to do that. I was trying to counter him. See, when he's just spinning, he doesn't really do anything. It's not until he starts coming at you. And that's it, I won. Oh, and another combo plus. I forgot that's what you got from this. Ooh. I can do five ground attacks now. By coming to the Coliseum, 
I leveled up to get combo plus and I got combo plus from an achievement so I also forget what the time limit one was but I feel like it's something good or at least something decent so here definitely use your magic because look at that less than four full seconds you have to go through nine rounds in three minutes so if you average 20 seconds a round you'll be fine well i say average but less than 20 seconds per round and you should be fine i might go into focus mode when i do these uh time attacks i'm not gonna lie come on stop bouncing around All right, so 20 seconds for uh, two matches. That's not bad. I'd be safe for around 15 seconds because it's these bigger guys that cause issues later on. If they survive, it can take so much longer to kill them. So it's not that this is any more difficult, but you have to do it in a certain amount of time. So you have to manage your magic better. You gotta manage uh who you kill first like you have to be a little more strategic where like in an earlier mode you might just be doing it just to make like the battle itself easier but now you got to do it so that you can finish faster period there we go i don't know if i can finish the fifth seed in under a minute i should be fine I'm sorry, the sixth seed. I meant to say if I can get to the fifth seed. Come on. Come on. This large body is the biggest problem here. And there we go. He should be dead. Wait, you're not dead? How are you not dead? Well, I still think I should be fine, even though I'm well over 10 seconds what I said I was gonna be 15 seconds jeez it's alright the first one's not as bad the later cups though oh boy and spoiler warning there's a huge tournament later on in the game with more than 10 matches or 9 matches rather Let's just say that time attack mode is abysmal. And I'm gonna be on that one for a while. I'm gonna unintentionally level grind so much. Yeah, Goofy, if you could do that, uh, deflecting a little soon, a big boy, old pal, that'd be awesome. Came a little close to dying just now. Come on, three matches, minute 20. Let's go. No, no, switch, switch. Yeah, you have to take these guys out first or the large bodies will keep recovering. Seriously, I don't know why it's not killing them. Maybe I'm a little uh, unfamiliar with how the mechanic actually works. Maybe it's the more HP they have, the more damage they take. I think that's actually what it is. Not entirely sure. I'll have to look it up. No, oh, I didn't mean it. I, I thought I, I had a little more magic than what I actually do have. Yeah, yeah, we lost. And now I'm gonna cut to the second to last match again. All right, minute three. As long as I don't die, I should be good. I Man, I was trying to hit the arms. Locked on the wrong thing, and I had to commit now. One way or another, these things have to die. There we go. Now I hit the arm. Ooh, and a max AP increase. That could be big. See, this is the only good thing about uh, failing is that if you have to keep trying, you have to keep getting experience. So there you go. This is actually like a life lesson within a video game tournament. <laughs> 
All right, 28 seconds to be the last one. If I can beat the body fast enough, the rest shouldn't be a problem. Come on, come on, come on. Take him out, take him out, take him out. There we go. Now just, ooh, MP rage. His, his max MP went up too, huh? I think it said his max MP uh, went up and he learned MP rage. And I learned tech boost. So that's just more experience from uh, teching. Hold up. And I just got that AP uh, increase, so perfect. Donald, you need this. Um, you can drop that. You don't need attack boost. You need magic. So, oh my god, the two of these combine recover MP when you're hit in battle. And how often is Donald hit? He's very much dead a lot of the time. So there you go. Heavier damage restores more MP. Well, there you go. An MP haste boosts MP recovery rate. Bruh. Donald, you should always have magic, dude. You should always have magic. Uh, Razor looks at enemies drop rare items more often. Taking that. And I think this whole thing was very much worth it. I see no downside to any of this. Sure, it took me a little bit of extra time, but not for you guys. All right, well, next time we'll head out on the gummy ship to the next world. See you guys then. Also, by the way, this is how warp drives work. Go straight to the world. You never actually have to go through the gummy ship missions ever again. Only reason I did it before was just to show it off. Okay, bye-bye.